The Heroes DFF importer and exporter is a powerful GTA plugin that handles models in a better way than any tool currently available for 3DS Max. To download and install this plugin head to the GTA forums release and click the version X.X button. If it doesn't download try right clicking, open in new tab, or open in incognito mode. Next head to your 3DS Max plugins folder. Open the rwio.zip file that you downloaded. Open, plugins, then AMD64, if 64-bit windows, or x86, if 32-bit windows. Locate the file of the same version as your 3DS Max installation. In my case it is 2023. Drag and drop the .dli file into the 3DS Max plugins folder. Next head to your 3DS Max scripts and then startup folder. In the .zip file that you downloaded, drag the two files into the 3DS Max script startup folder. The next time that you open 3DS Max this plugin will then be ready to use. Before you learn how to import and export DFF models, we'll take a look at how their materials work. A material is a container that stores graphics effects seen on models. Color is usually best to leave as white as there are other coloring methods available than material colors. Alpha sets the transparency level of the material. Ambient sets the exposure of the material. A high value makes a vehicle overexposed while a low value makes a vehicle underexposed in other words dark. By default vehicles use a value of 0. 45. Diffuse sets the intensity of the diffuse map. Texture map slot can be assigned an image for the model to be textured with. Effect type defines the type of special effect the material should have. Setting this is necessary if you want a fake reflection on the material. ENV map slot can be assigned an image for the model to have a fake reflection. Bump map slot is used for bump mapping which is not possible with MTA, but with shaders in GTA it is. Dual pass slot is used for blending two textures together. The source and destination blend menus complement this. Enable. Press this if you are adding fake reflections to your material. Shininess can be tweaked to adjust the intensity of the reflection. Enable. Press this if you are adding specularity to your material. Specularity can be tweaked to adjust the intensity of the specularity highlights. Spec map slot is where the specularity map goes. In order to import a DFF click file, Import. To make this easier click the line at the top to float this interface. Locate your DFF file. You will see a number of settings that determine what data is imported. Convert frame hierarchy. Leaving this unticked will import skin models lying down on their back and parent the root bone to a dummy. Leaving this ticked will import skin models standing up and remove the unnecessary dummy. Auto smooth. The value can be anywhere between 0 and 180. The higher the number, the smoother the model will appear, and the lower the number, the more crystallic the model will appear. Lower values tend to create a higher file size due to it generating more smoothing groups. The poly count however does not change when using auto smooth as it is a shading technique. Explicit normals. Tick this on if you would like to import the model with its original smoothing. This is true for skin models and vehicles which use vertex normals for their shading. Explicit normals takes precedence over smoothing groups. Import as standard materials. Tick this on if you would like to import materials as standard legacy, rather than renderware. This setting is ideal for compatibility with other render or game engines. Take material ID from Mesh. Tick this on if you are importing a model exported by CAM script or other exporters. The issue with CAM script is that it does not export material IDs correctly, which can cause problems in some scenarios. Now that you have learned how to import a model, it's time to take a look at how to export a model. In order to export a DFF, click File, Export. Locate the folder you would like to export to. You will see a number of settings that determine what data is exported from 3DS Max. Lighting flag exports the model with geometry flag. This flag acts as an exposure control that you would see on many cameras. It increases the minimum and maximum brightness of models and inherits lighting from the sky and is not ideal for models with complete darkness, such as caves and unlit areas. Leading this setting off also allows you to use Vertex Alpha in models. Vertex Normals exports the model with its Vertex Normals used for shading. This is required for skin models and recommended for vehicles. 
This setting does increase the file size by a lot, but is necessary for shading skin models and vehicles because they don't use vertex colors. Tristrip is an experimental setting and may cause crashes. It exports models with Tristrip rather than Trilist. Create HNM hierarchy. This setting is required for skin models. Export skinning. This setting is required for skin models. World Space exports the model in world space rather than local space. For example, if your model is currently 10 units away from the center of your scene, the model will export with those coordinates. This setting should only be used by advanced users. Node Names exports data frames with Rockstar Node Names. Vertex Prelights. This exports vertex colors, which is used primarily for day lighting. Extra Vertex Colors. This exports vertex illumination which is used for secondary night lighting. File version sets the renderware version of the file. This setting should be left default unless you are working with a different Rockstar game. 